I'm strictly off the cuff. Always have been. I play the moment. Congratulate the temporary. It's very important to not be overprepared in life. There's no way you can be a successful coach if you're not ready to throw out your whole strategy four minutes into the game if you find out you're wrong. There's no pride in being right if you lose. McGuire the Show is a one-man play about Marquette basketball coach Al McGuire, focusing on uh, really his, his biography, the high points, the low points, but really what some of the things that we remember him for. I mean, he's a, a phenomenally unique person with a, a really unique worldview. I always pour my own beer, because I like lots of fun. Show's got life. Who wants a flat beer? He's this wonderful sort of poet, philosopher of the streets. In those days, we were warned to never eat before going swimming because you'd be guaranteed to cramp up and drop. So I dropped the banana and went in for a long swim. When I get back, the banana's all cooked brown from the hot sun. So I go home, I tell my mom, I cheated myself out of my treat. And she says, Alfie, life ain't always going to get better if you wait. Right now might be the best moment of your life. So eat the banana. Al was a guy who was very, very concerned with uh, notions of balance and happiness and always sort of being being true to yourself first. I recruited all different type of ball players. So long as it was a crack sidewalk, they led me to them. And I recruited them all the same. People, I'm no crusader. But I can honestly say, I never saw color. I only saw character. Because that's all I was looking for. We start with him, uh, talk about his first coaching job at Belmont Abbey in North Carolina tiny little church school. But everyone a good Catholic. The Benedictine monks at Randy Abbey, they weren't sure what to make of that. But after we went 24 and three in my first year, they were happy to let me do things my way. Then I hear this big opportunity is open up at Marquette University. Respectable program. Been to the tournament a couple of times but I didn't even know where Milwaukee was. I'll then follow him you know, through getting the job at Marquette to having success at Marquette. Maybe you could say Marquette University owes me a lot for all I've done for the team and the school. And you'd probably be right. But whatever I've done for them, I owe them even more. And then the retirement and ultimately his post-playing broadcasting career, especially through his partnership with Dick Enberg and Billy Packer. So the game begins and I push my button and a right leg goes on in front of Dixie and Billy sitting courtside on press row. So now Dixie says, let's go to Al McGuire. And I would talk into this camera while sitting next to a radiator and a paper towel dispenser with my voice on the toilet while my voice is bouncing off the walls like I'm coming from the bowels of San Quentin. <laughs> Dick Enberg wrote it, which is a really great hook. We're about 20 minutes more material now than the original version and looking for a, a little more dramatic shape, I think, than there was in the original version. Dick himself will say that the first version was really more, uh, more an hour-long tribute to Al. We went 97 and 27 in my first five years. When he died, I started writing down all the wonderful life lessons that he had taught me. And finally I realized with all the material, there's a play here. This man is worthy uh, of a play, a one-man, one-act play. And the joy for me is, and I've seen almost every performance, is that he comes to life. You know, he was bigger than life uh, before death, and he comes to life again on stage. I play hard nose and hard nose in Midwest basketball. Of course I know how to recruit, and I'll prove it with my first recruit, Hank Raymond's. And I don't ever worry about the other team. All I care about is what my guys are gonna do to them. Stars sort of aligned to have Anthony Crivello play Al. Tony's a Milwaukee guy originally, grew up here, actually went to Marquette while Al was there. I was a student uh, at Marquette for between 1974 and 1976, and uh, wound up being captain of the squad, and because of all of that, I had interaction with, uh, with Al. You know, so I was able to be, by being a cheerleader, I was on the sideline, I saw all that behavior, I had conversations with him. Who knew <laughs> that many years later, here I am, you know, playing the, the icon that, that I admired as a kid. We didn't even have a foul shot yet! These other guys are relatives! Tony is such a, a versatile, facile, emotional actor. The way that he is, is able to explore and express Al's full humanity, for me, is really what makes the thing worth watching. You're taking everything else from me tonight! 85% of the script are direct quotes from Al. Did you know that no is sometimes a good answer? Yes, it's the best answer, but the worst answer is a no. 
it's maybe. Because maybe puts you off. I'm not trying to do an impersonation of Al McGuire. We want to get the essence of who he is and bring that forward on the stage. For my final confession, I'm going to need a deaf priest. I violated almost all the Ten Commandments about a hundred times, but I didn't kill nobody. Al McGuire saw life and saw it in a different angle than the rest of us, and, and that again was uh, part of way, what it made him so appealing. You know what else is healthy? Take it a right turn. Perhaps the most important is take a right-hand turn in life, and Al really subscribed to that, that don't always go the same way. Take a chance and go a right instead of always left, and, and let the unplanned, the unexpected come to you. And I, th I think there's application uh, for that for all of us. Congratulate the temporary. Eat the banana. All I'm saying is, go out and meet the guy with the two teeth missing and wearing the ratty pants. You'd be surprised how beautiful the unplanned can be. People still, when you say Al McGuire, they think Milwaukee, they think Marquette, they think of this crazy character who saw the game in a different way. Shout, scream. That's my kind of coaching. That's my world of verbal violence. A lot of people don't understand how it could be like that at a Catholic college. But just because you're religious don't mean you're not tough. Interesting facets to uh, Alfred Emmanuel McGuire. It all gets down to love. If we have love, we'll be good.